Hello everyone. In today's video, we will see multiple choice question based on the topic preprocessors in C programming. What is mean by actually preprocessor? We know that processor. Now here is the topic preprocessor means before converting your code into object code, you need to do processing on source code. So it is known as preprocessing. And for that, we are using the preprocessor. Let's see the question. First question. The C language preprocessor is a program that processes the source code before the compiler translates the source code into the object code. True or false? Yes. It's covered in definition only. So, it, the answer for this question is it true. The C language preprocessor is a program that processes the source code before the compiler translates the source code into the object code. Now go to the second question. Question 2. Preprocessor is a collection of special statements called. See, here is a collection of special statements called. Options are directives, file, library and the none of the above. And correct answer is. A. Directive. Preprocessor is a collection of special statements called a directive. Next question. Preprocessor are used in a C because it makes program easy to modify. Or second option. Increases the program portability. Third option. It improves the readability of a program. Last option. All of the above. C question is preprocessor are used in a C because which are the reasons from this? Yes. All of these uh, three reasons. It makes the program easy to modify. Increases the program portability. It improves the readability of program. So answer is B. All of the above. Next question. Question number four. Preprocessor directives are placed in the source program before calling the main function. See, question is, preprocessor directives are placed in the source program before calling the main function. We are writing the preprocessor directives in the source program before the main or after the main function? Yes, we are writing this uh, preprocessor directives before calling the main function. So, answer is A, true. Next question. Preprocessor directives always start with symbol. Which symbol we are using for a preprocessor directives to indicate, to declare the preprocessor directives? We are using the hash symbol. Hash define or hash include or uh, hash if, hash else. Okay. So, we are using the hash. So, answer is B. Which of the following is not a conditional directive? We know that the conditional directive and here is option A, hash if, B, hash define, C, hash end if, and D, hash else. So question is, which of the following is not a conditional directive? And answer is B, hash define. Others are conditional directives, hash if, end if, hash else. Okay. Next question is, which of the following is not a unconditional directive? See, question is not a unconditional directive. Options are hash define, B hash include, C hash undefined and D hash error. Which of the following is not a unconditional directive? Okay. So, we know that only three are the uh, unconditional directory that is hash define, hash include and hash undefined. So, correct answer is B, hash error. Next question, which of the following is not a miscellaneous directive? Okay, miscellaneous directive. Okay, here is the option is hash, then B, double hash, C, hash line and D, hash L. And we know that this hash L is a conditional directive. Okay. Hash else, hash if else or if. These are the conditional directives. So, correct answer for this is D hash else because this is not a miscellaneous directive. Next question.
question dash is an abbreviation for sequence of instruction options are preprocessor b inclusion c macro and d definition which of the following is the correct answer dash is an abbreviation for sequence of instruction and correct answer is c macro macro is an abbreviation for sequence of instruction next question question number 10 Macro is an abbreviation for sequence of instruction. When this abbreviation is encountered in a program, then defined sequence of instructions are submitted over there. This process is called. See, read the statement carefully because based on this statement, in exam maybe there is a three question. First line for the first question. Second half for the second question and third. So this process is known as option star substitution, abbreviation, implementation, or D none. See macro is an abbreviation for sequence of instruction. When this abbreviation is encountered in the program, then defined sequence of instructions are submitted over there. This process is called macro substitution. So correct answer is A. Macro substitution. Next question: Macro name within another macro is called dash of macro. Okay, macro name within another macro is known as substitution. Or option B is nesting, C is implementation, or D is none of the above. And correct answer is B, nesting of macro. When you are writing the any function within the another function or macro within the another macro. Then it is called as nesting of macro. Macro cannot have a return value. Next question is macro cannot have return value. True or false? And correct answer is A. True. See, there is a difference between the macro and function. Function can return a value, but macro cannot have a return value. This statement is true. Next question is which of the following is file inclusion directive which of the following is file inclusion directive hash include hash define hash undefined and none of the above and here is the answer also answer is a hash include hash include is a inclusive directive okay hash define is a different and define is a different okay but inclusion here is the question is inclusion directive so answer is a Next question: Macro substitution is obtained by using directive. Which directive uh, directive is important for macro substitution? Options are A hash include, B hash define, C hash undefined, and D none of the above. And correct answer is B. For the macro substitution, we are using the hash define. Means we can define the hash define max equal to five or max equal to ten. Your In program. Next question is: This is a question based on output of the following code. Maybe in your exams for the interview for the any exam, this type of questions are more as compared to theoretical question. Here is the one program: hash include stdio dot h hash define square. Here is the one macro is defined. So by using the hash define square of here is x into x. So when you are calling the square function, it will multiply x into x. Void main. See, by mistake, we uh, n is not typed here, but we, here is void main int i. Then i equals to 64 divided by square of 4. Print a percent d and comma i. And then closing of this. See, here is the uh, uh, options are a 16, b 4, c 64, and none of the About. So let's see the execution here. Void main here required the void main. Okay. Uh, I equals to 64 divided by square of 4. When you are giving the call to this square of 4, so this 4 automatically will be here. So here we need x. So this 4 value is now here. 4 into 4. 4 into 4 is what? 4 into 4 is 16. Okay. 4 into 4 is 16. So this statement will become equals to 64 because here is a 64, so we need to write here the 64. Then divide square of 4. Square of 4 is what? X into x. X into x means what? 4 into 4. 4 into 
so here we will write the 4 into 4 okay 4 into 4 directly it will place it 4 into 4 so here is a statement see 64 not uh, actually like this so 64 divided by 4 into 4 okay this is a statement now this is your expression okay we are supposing like this, so answer will be wrong when we are considering directly this bracket. So, 64 divided by 4 into 4 because here is no any bracket, so just write the 4 into 4 here. And see, division and multiplication having the equal priority. Okay, this both having the equal priority. So, we will solve the expression left to right. When the two operator having equal priority, we will solve the left to right. So, we need to solve first this 64 divided by 4. So, 64 divided by 4 will be 16. 4, 16 for the 64. So, answer will be here 16. And into this right here multiplication, this and then 4. So, 16 into 4 is, answer is 64. See, answer is here 64. So, uh, option C is a correct answer. This is your correct answer. But see, when you are taking this 64 divided by square root of 4, uh, like this, like this previous one. So, see, what will be the answer? 4 into 4 is 16. So, 64 divided by 16 is what? 4. But this is wrong. Okay, this is wrong. Because when the operator having equal priority, we are considering that this one, this, we will do the, this step. So, the correct answer for this is only 64, not a 4 or 16. Okay, so this is the answer, answer C. Thank you, thank you very much for watching till the end. If you like this video, please give the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any query, please write it in the comment box so I will try to solve all the queries. Thank you very much.